Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the, the Font Home Robot Free Move technology. Uh, one thing I'm going to mention before we get started is this robot was sent to me for free to review. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it, show you what it's about, and then I'm going to go ahead and have it do a stress test. Um, I do have a video coming on the Venibot uh, with the mopping and all that. Uh, just having some issues with editing right now. So that'll be coming here hopefully within the next week. So let's go and get this open. I'll just kind of show you the box. It's pretty plain. Kind of shows you the robot. Um, just on this side, it just says the font home robot. So we'll get this opened up here, guys, for you. Take a peek. All right. So let's pull this out of the box. Maybe. Two hours later. All right, got that out of the box. Took a little effort, but we did it. Progress for a Monday. All right, so we got a little piece of cardboard. We'll just throw that over there. Here we have our nice little user manual and some more information. Thank you for choosing the font. Got a little remote here. Got our power adapter for the charging station. Got an extra filter. Just take off the robot itself here in just a second. There's the robot. I'll show you more about it here. Let's just get this unboxed. Got two sets of side brushes. Set those aside. I think this might be for the filter itself. And then the docking station. So I'll take the docking station out, kind of show you that. Um, pretty similar to the Deezer and the um, Gondol basic docking station. I do like that you can put your little cleaning brush there. That is pretty neat. Okay, we'll move this out of the way. We'll take a look at the robot here itself. I really like the, the finish on this robot. It's very clean. Looks very nice for a budget robot. All right, so here we have the bottom of the robot. Let's take a look at the brush roll here. As you can see, it looks like a pretty standard brush roll. Uh, moves pretty nice. So that's about it for that. I'll put this back in here. Very easy to snap back into place. And that's the back of the robot. And well, since we're here, we'll go ahead and install our side brushes. Our right and our left. And there we go. I do like robots that have dual side brushes. I think it helps cl the cleaning process, in my opinion. But sometimes it can hurt it, especially if they spin too fast. Here's our dustbin. Pretty decent sized dustbin, so this should be able to hold quite a bit for a stress test. So that's about it. We just have our filter up here. We'll put that back in there. Put that back in there. Turn our robot on here. As you can set, see it says welcome. And look at that. Ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked up to the app. And I'm going to go ahead and hook up the remote here, and we'll go ahead and do a stress test on this robot. Three hours later. All right, guys, now that we've got to connect to the app, we're ready to go. It was very easy. It's similar to the Deezer and the Gongol, so if, I'm not going to waste your time with going through all that. If you really want to see it and you want to see how it's connected, just leave a comment down below, and I'll think about doing a video for you. So right here, we're going to have our test debris here. We're going to go ahead and spread that around. All right, so let me show you what I did. As you can see, I did some over there. Basically all over. Let me see if I can zoom this out a little. So you can see the big mess I created. I did a lot along the edges over here. I want to see how all this thing does with the edge test. Then some in a little bit of a corner there right by the 
basket there. And then a little bit over here. So we're we'll gonna get this started. And I'll speed it up so you're not sitting here for 30 minutes or so. Now I'm just gonna run it on that standard setting that it comes with out of the box. Go ahead and hit play. All right, we'll go ahead and hit play. Looks like those side brushes aren't spinning too fast, which is good for this situation, especially for a large mess. I apologize for the dinging over here. That's the gongle. It's not happy that I unplugged it uh, for a new robot. So just kind of bear with me with that. As you can see, it's kind of struggling a little bit, kind of kicking the, some extra debris out a little ways. It does a pretty decent job at navigating, I must say. All right, guys, I'm going to run for about six minutes here. I'm just going to let it do its thing, and once the robot is completed, I'll come back in here and show you what it left. All right, so as you can see, it's just going back to the dock right now. So let's take a look at what it picked up. I got most of everything in this little corner here. It did really well around this tub, I was surprised. It did kind of scatter some debris around there a little bit. For the main floor here, I did pretty decent. And remember, I just kept this on its basic setting right out of the box. Over here, there was a little bit different story. It left a lot along the edge. So let me know what you guys think. That was my stress test of the Defont robot vacuum. I will be doing a hard floor test as well here in just a few weeks. Thank you guys for watching. And see you next time. Yeah.